Hi, this is Chris Murray here with a quick another tip for 3DS Max. I'm going to talk to you about the difference between scale and transform very quickly. There's a lot more to explain about it than I have time here today, but I just quickly want to cover a couple of basic differences. If we select our object here, you can see we have a primitive that has a specific radius. Both of these objects are primitives. If I go ahead and add an X4 modifier to one of them, and not to the other. We're going to take a look at the difference in how scale is treated between the two. So why would you want to use the X4 modifier versus just scaling something? Well it has to do with the way 3ds Max calculates objects as they move through what's called the data pipeline. If I right click on this object and choose scale you can see that the object gets bigger and smaller but the radius in itself doesn't. Likewise if I come over here to our uh, transform modifier and I choose our gizmo and I scale that, it doesn't get bigger either, but the difference is that it happens in the modifier stack, and that's a huge difference mathematically when our objects are calculated. When you're using just scale on an object, like a move, rotate, or scale, that's sometimes considered a transform, as if you're animating it like squash and stretch. This is actually a modification to the geometry. So when the static geometry is calculated, the transform is applied in the modifier stack, changing the actual shape of the geometry, not just the squash and stretch of the geometry. This has huge implications if you're going to be exporting this data to some other place like a game engine or a simulation system or something like that. So if you're not animating an object and you want to change its scale and it's not a primitive object, I strongly recommend that you use the X4 modifier to accomplish that.